Continuing on uh, with number 11 that I asked you to stop um, the video and do. Um, so when you work this all out, you should get an answer of y equals 6 fifths, negative 6 fifths x minus 3. So if you didn't get a, that answer, take a look at the work here or come up and ask some questions. Our process for perpendicular equations is going to be exactly the same except our slope is going to need to change. So when I look at an equation like this, I want to write another equation that's going to be perpendicular to this and go through this point. So the slope of this line is 3 fourths. The slope of a perpendicular line is going to be negative 4 thirds. Remember it's the opposite sign reciprocal. So my new equation I'm going to write, this is the slope I want to use. So y minus negative 3 equals negative 4 thirds x, uh, parentheses, x minus 3. Okay, you see how the process is exactly the same as what we did with parallels, except I have to make sure I get the right slope. We use the same slope up here because we wanted parallel. Perpendicular, we want the negative reciprocal. After that, my process will be the same. And there's my equation of my line. Okay, now I want you to stop the video and I want you to go to number 13 and number 14 and uh, just pause this and do those two and then I'll come back with the answers. Okay, so take a look at the process for number 13 and 14. Again, I needed the slope of this one, so I had to change it to slope-intercept form. The slope of the line is negative 1, so the perpendicular slope is positive 1. That's what I need in my new equation because they want it perpendicular. So I use that slope and this point, fill that in, solve for y to get my new equation. Number 14 is done the same way. Convert the standard form into slope-intercept form. Use that to find your slope. And because they want perpendicular, the perpendicular slope would be 3 fifths. Plug it in, work it out, and there's the, my new equation that's going to be perpendicular to this one, and it's going to go through that point. So if you have any questions on that, let me know.